This is Renee Romeo. Today you are in my guest bedroom learning how to turn a queen size bed into a king size bed for very little money. Uh, this is a guest room and I don't want to put this much money into going out and buying a new king mattress or a new king bed. I really like to work with what I have. Now this is also great for those of you that are antiques shoppers that go and see beautiful headboards or beautiful beds with footboards and think that you can't convert that to a larger size bed. Double size beds were really common way back when. But for our American standards these days, we all like our king size beds and we want our guests to feel comfortable in them as well. So join me and I'll show you exactly how I accomplish this for very little money. So what do you absolutely need for this project? You absolutely need the right size box spring for your bed or bed frame. Uh, in my case it's a queen and I already had it so that's what I'm using but the problem with mine is that the bottom side was wood and the top side was metal so I needed to flip it over to expose the wood side to the top. The reason why I do that is because whatever I put on top of this I'm putting a piece of plywood over the top I'd like to secure that plywood to the box spring so that things don't move around on the bed when you've got your guests on top of it. So that's exactly what you need. So again, make sure that your bed frame and your box spring match in size. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the store and you're going to buy two four by eight sheets of plywood and it has to be three quarter inch plywood. I don't recommend OSB because OSB usually has an odor that takes quite a while to dissipate. So go ahead and purchase the more expensive three quarter inch plywood. So depending on what mattress you're going to go with, if you're going to add a, a king mattress or if you're going to put two twins together, there are two different measurements that you have to do. So the first one is I'll highlight is for two twin mattresses and that measurement is 72 inches wide by 80 inches long and that's what you're going to put on your platform. So that's two pieces, one piece being 32 inches by 72 and the second piece being 48 inches by 72. So that's the first one. The second one is for a king size mattress. Now for a king size mattress, you'll cut two pieces of plywood. The first one being 32 by 75 and the second one being 48 by 75. It needs to be a little bit wider in order to accommodate a king size mattress. So this is just a sample cut to show you what I did. It's just really a mock-up. But what I have is a circular saw and ladies, you can use this, don't be afraid. This is a very safety conscious thing. So I have, uh, I'm at my father-in-law's house and I found this 1960s pair of safety glasses, which I'm going to wear and uh, they've, this is pre-plastic on the sides, it's screening. So here we go. Um, make sure you have these on. <laughs> and uh, So I have my circular saw. I have a little platform here. I'm gonna put my foot up here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a mark along the edge. And so basically, I'll, I'll just go ahead, but you really do need a straight edge to do this. I'm just going to follow along the line. So some models have a little laser light that you can follow, but this one, there's a little piece here, a little, uh, a little notch that you're just going to follow along. So here we go. just that easy. Uh, it goes through like butter if you're cutting it right with a nice sharp blade. So you're going to do just the same thing with your plywood. So you'll see I have my plywood in place. This plywood is just some scrap wood that I had laying around the house. Uh, so I've gone ahead and used that. And the measurement that I use, now uh, what I'm going to do with this is I'm not putting a king mattress on here. Many of you empty nesters have twin mattresses laying around the house from when your kids left and uh, you want to be able to use that when they come back and maybe with their significant other you need a king size bed. So I'm using two twin mattresses and I'm going to go ahead and make this look exactly and feel exactly like a king when I'm done with it. What I've done at this point is I've taken the measurement off of a king mattress. Now a king mattress um, is not a complete square, however when you put two twin mattresses together it is a complete square. So two twin mattresses together are 72 by 72. A regular king mattress is 75 by 80 long. What I've done 
I've taken the length measurement at 80 and I've put in my 80 inches. So this is 80 inches long. The width measurement, however, is not 75, it's 72 because I don't want that uh, wood sticking out where normally there would be extra mattress if there were a king. These are two queen or two twins, so it's going to be sticking out. So this measurement and the width is 72. It's the exact measurement of two twin mattresses side by side. So that's what you need to do with this. Now, you don't need that many screws to secure this to the box spring. Five or six per side is plenty so that when your guests get on it, they're not going to be able to shift it around and move it. And that's all you're looking for at this point. So the other thing to note here is that on my end corners, when I cut out the plywood, I made sure to put a 45 degree angle cut on the corners in case anybody bumps into it. They're not going to hurt their knees uh, with that you know, very pointy corner. So go ahead and knock those corners off just like that and you won't have any issues with that. The other thing that I did was I had some extra fabric laying around and uh, I stapled it to the edge of this plywood just in case somebody could see underneath the bed and see that uh, the, the frame doesn't exactly meet up to this uh, I'm not going to give that illusion away so you could do the same thing if you've got some scrap fabric laying around too so just real quick look how nice that looks it's all lined up on that corner and what I've done here I have four and a half inches per side sticking out from the existing queen frame so that's exactly what you're going to wind up with on either side you want this to be completely centered looking at the bed from the footboard now what you probably can't see on film is that I have a, a big gap here between the top of the mattress and the headboard. It's about seven and a half to eight inches wide. And I'm going to take two king size pillows that I already have plus one standard size pillow. That'll get me all the way across this mattress to the other side uh, and fill in this area. Now, if you try to do this at the foot of the bed, what's going to wind up happening is uh, it'll be lumpy and unstable at that portion, but up here, it really doesn't matter because uh, you're going to be stacking pillows under your head anyway, and I'll show you how I top it off and make it nice and fluffy. My only purchase at this point has been this memory foam gel topper. Uh, it's a three inch thick topper that is king size. And so this is really the key to getting to this uh, project to be pulled off successfully. You really do need a topper like this, something that's nice and thick so that when you go ahead and lay it out, it goes over the top of the pillows at the top and everything is, seems nice and secure. So what this one came with, um, you'll see how nicely this fits. It, it just fits perfectly. Uh, it came with this really nice cover, and so the cover actually goes over the top of the memory foam, and then it'll secure underneath the mattress. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and get everything in place so that it is nice and square and secure. So you'll see this looks exactly like the king size bed that you might sleep on. And when I get up on here, it's solid, it's comfortable. This is exactly the experience that you want to give your guests when they come and stay with you because you don't want them to remember a bad night's sleep. So this is Renee Romeo. Thank you so much for watching this great project. I hope you do this in your house. I think it's one of the best things that I've done for my guests, and uh, I'm sure your guests will appreciate it too. So till next time, thank you so much for watching.